it's a totally different view of life. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I love this story. Vending yeah. machines, the club on it. That's crazy. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. Yeah, bro, taking the brand. That's I ain't like, bro, that's the most. Yeah, hey, can I get a round of applause for that one? <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> go to show, bro. When you have an idea, you really need to act. Go with you your can't move, wait bro. for it. You can't be like, oh, maybe in a year my circumstances. Go with better. your move. You know what I'm saying? It's like get get that motion. Go bro. with your Make move, bro. Go know? with the grass and the trees came from the same exact exact place. Yeah. But you don't never see the trees hanging out with the grass. That's mm. crazy. That's a crazy. I love that quote. That's the best quote I've might have been. Uh, Think about that was some deep. That's one of them, bro. That's one of them. That. Like that's some deep. Ass that's shit. one of them. I love like whoever watching. We just like y'all, bro. We the same exact people, just mentally we're a little different. But we gonna get y'all there. Can't ask for better nothing. You know what I'm saying? But without further ado, you know what I'm saying? We in the building. Yes, Welcome sir. to the first episode of Motion Makes Millions, man. First you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Millions, man. First yeah, episode, yeah. give it up, give it up, give it up. Hopefully, y'all like what we put together for y'all, man. For sure, man. It's your boy Demond, man. The favorite rapper's favorite rapper, aka the hardest nigga living live in the flesh. Yes, sir. You know you came my to God. the best platform on the internet in the building, and to my right, I got. Hey, it's your boy Cross, man. I'm just a young serial entrepreneur, out here grinding every day, doing all I can with what I got like everybody else should yes sir yes sir and without further ado mm -hmm. what we got for him man we got a young legend in the building man young if y'all i know him and i'm pissed that y'all might not know him but after the night y'all gonna know him okay and to my left i got hollywood need you know what i'm saying the Ooh. biggest in the building yes, yes, sir. give it up yes, sir. give it up give it up give it up man hey i want to okay. first and foremost first and foremost I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity, man. You know what I'm saying? You're a busy man. You know what I'm saying? And man, we all busy. For you to come up here and give us the opportunity, you know what I'm saying, to uh, interview you, get a good time out of you, man. I really appreciate that. Nah, man. big fan. You know what I'm saying? It. Nah, that's really? love, bro. But what's crazy? You, out of all people, I'm pretty sure you used to be in my position <laughs> getting interviewed, which is crazy, bro. So it's like, when, you know, that's, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, God, God did. <laughs> hey, but best believe all three of us got hella motion. Yes, sir. As, as you can yes, tell, sir. hella yes, motion sir. going on. Hey, it's three, M's in the, it's three M's on that song for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's three M's on that song for a reason. <laughs> yes, sir. Man, but nah, look, so my boy Hanif in the building, Hollywood Neef, man, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and tell the people, man, where you from, how old are you, man, what you do, most importantly, man. Go and give it to them. Man, <clears throat> where can I start? Well, I'm from Lamarck, Texas. Well, most of y'all don't know where that's at, but Galveston County, Lamarck, mm -hmm. Texas. The uh, bottom. The bottom of the bottom. <laughs> bottom boy survival for yeah. real, man. The murder. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me, basically? <laughs> yeah, goddamn me. But yeah, I'm 25, man, living in Houston. Content creator, um, entrepreneur on Airbnbs, vending machines. Uh, got a club open up on June 30th. In Houston, oh, Texas. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, can we get an applause for that? Oh yeah, we definitely got too much. 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 Got to give it to him, man. Got to give it to him, man. But nah. So, when was the turning point, man? You know what I'm saying? When you realized that you wanted to take the entrepreneur route, you know what I'm saying? Because it's, 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 I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of scary, bro. When you just, you know what I'm saying, jump off that bridge, you know what I'm saying, and be like. I'ma do this, I ain't gonna work for the man, you know what I'm saying, I'ma go and get my own bread. So what was the turning point in your life to make it be like, this is what I'ma do and I'ma go full speed with it? Believe it or not, man, and like, they don't know, a lot of people don't know, you know my pops. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's a barber, man, so this has been talking to my pops once I got out of college, man, it was like, you know, do you wanna work for the rest of your life? Or do you wanna be, become a boss and, you know, have your own schedule, wake up whenever you want to? Yeah. Use the restroom whenever you want to, eat That's whenever you want to. Mm. And, and it's like you can, you are in control of your own money. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I ain't gotta worry about clocking in knowing what day, all right, so one day I'm gonna make 150, I'm gonna make 150 this day. When I know I'm in charge of however much I make. Yeah, you know what I mean? ain't no cap. So it's just like, it's just that financial freedom, bro. Yeah. Like, Y'all know about it, bro. It feels, yeah. it feels good to like, to like wake up and knowing that you're gonna make a, make a dollar in your sleep, bro. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I feel like sometimes you just gotta break that barrier of stress though, because sometimes when you don't got no rules to follow, it's kind of hard to discipline yourself to really get that guideline in line though. That's, how, that's the main reason why I feel like most people choose jobs in the security. Cause you got, 
you got everything outlined for you. Yeah. When you're an entrepreneur, yeah. bro, that shit can go south quick and ain't nobody really <laughs> running to you because you, you running your own shit. So Facts. if it all you falls the down, answer to yourself. If, Facts. if it all falls down, it's gonna fall on you, bro. That's the only mm-hmm. thing. And that's not, that's another side people don't talk about entrepreneurship. It's like, yeah, you have your highs, but what about the lows? Yeah, it's nah, a lot bro. of them. It's a lot of lows, bro. Yeah. Don't nobody share the yeah. lows like that either. I'm yeah. trying to tell you. That's bro. the real game too. Like, yeah. just like say, hey, bro, I'm gonna put you on because this this really why I took an L at, so you don't gotta take the L. Come on. And but only body, everybody only show how they get the doves, bro. Yeah, facts, facts. That's the big difference. Facts. Bro. Stay away from the ground. Come they on. be lying sometimes. Bro. Sometimes, sometimes yeah. they lie on the ground. So stay away from the ground. Stay true to yourself, and you will be successful. You yeah, know what man, I'm saying? I tell you, bro. Just believe in your own self. To get that motion, man, you gotta have a method. You can't just. I like that. You can't like just that. think that everything gonna be sweet, bro. Even just starting this little platform, me and him, bro, we thought it was gonna be a little bit easier. Facts. Like. It took a lot more just setting up the audio, worrying yeah, about yeah. camera angles, lighting. It was, it was a lot more than just pressing play and uh, thinking we was going to just call somebody up to pull up on us. Hey, uh, hey. Everything in life is a little bit more work than what it seems. So yeah. Real talk. Yeah, come on. Ask, hey, you, hey, you spit right now. No <laughs> cap. Hey, that's real, though. Yeah, that's true. Let's get a reply for that one. Let's get a reply for that one. <laughs> Trump, that. Too much motion yeah. in the building, man. Too much motion. motion. You know what I'm saying? But nah, for sure, man. That's, that's real, man. Oh, but one thing I can say, bro, is... It's like it's one of them things where like you have to like jump off the bridge and know because nobody can really tell you yeah. what's gonna happen because what worked for you might not work for me and what worked oh. for me might not work for him you know what I'm saying so that's just one of them things where you learn as you go because you gonna lose you gonna lose like you're not gonna win every single time you gonna take an L and it's it's scary to take an L you know what I'm saying nobody want to be a loser. But you're not gonna win if you don't take an L. Cause once you get the duck, once you get the money and the business and the whatever, if the shit was perfect on the way up, when you get it, you ain't gonna know what to do with it. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna, you, lo- you gonna lose that. You're gonna lose it because you then you wouldn't have you wouldn't structure right. You don't understand the steps it takes to be like, okay, if this go wrong, then okay, I done seen this before. Let me do this. You know what I'm saying? So it's a lot, like you said, it's a lot to go into it as far as, you know what I'm saying, taking that step up. But everybody should do it. If you if you believe in yourself, bro, as you should, I advise you to get off your behind. Stop putting a dent in that couch, man. You know Come what I'm on. saying? Go make, <laughs> some, go make something happen, man. You, you know what I'm saying? It's that time. Means, man, 2023 is the year, man. If you if you still stressing and went living check to check, man, in 2023, <clears throat> next subject. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't even know what to say. You know what I'm saying? I don't even know what to. I don't even know what to say on that on that situation because if you living like that, even mentally, you know, you can still be working a nine to five and mentally be an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? You can mentally be in a spin where you know I'm gonna be here for a few months, I'm gonna stack my bread, and I'm gonna take this and go invest in an Airbnb or a vending machine. You know, but some people are so content with living check to check, and I don't want my next check hit, I'm gonna get these shoes or next check hit, I'm gonna go to the mall or I'm gonna take this girl to the club or get a you know what I'm saying, like they 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 mentally slave. You know what I'm saying? Mentally enslaved while working a nine to five is where it becomes a problem. You can still work a nine to five and have an entrepreneurial mindset. So don't get that wrong. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can. It's it's ways around it. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely ways around it. And and yeah, man. So next subject. You I know got what I'm saying? Now nah, I got a question for you, bro. You got a lot of motion going on, bro. And I want to know what 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 you started with. Like, what was your first? All right, this one. Like, what was your first play you ran as an entrepreneur, and why? I'm gonna be honest. It was nah, I was uh, shadowing my dad, bro. Okay. I shadowing him and shit. Me saying like, cause like, ever since I've been born, bro, my dad never had a job. Ever since I've been alive. Yeah. Bro. Okay. He's been an entrepreneur. So, really, to answer that question, bro, I could say what put me on my feet was my last check, my last job, bro. I had I was working at Urban Air. I was working at Urban Air, bro. Okay. Yeah. Nah, dead ass. I was like back in 2019 or 2020. You jump on the trampolines. Mm-hmm. Man, I was doing all kinds of stuff. Backflips. <laughs> I'm talking about RKM. Ain't real time, bro, being a kid, bro. But I, I'll say that it was my last check, bro. But I was forced to because I got fired. Okay, okay. So my last check, it was like, all right, my last thousand. Like, what I'm going to do with it? And so I was on YouTube. And these guys on YouTube, they were was, was talking about, you know, vending machines. At first, I wasn't really thinking nothing of it. But I'm like, like, come on, it's vending machines, bro. Yeah. And then I just said, you know what? I saw one on Craigslist for like 800 bucks, bro. <laughs> Spent 800 bucks on that vending machine, 200, I got my snacks, and I paid, what was it, 50 bucks to have my vending machine in the airport, because one of my vending machines is inside Hobby Airport. Mm-hmm. And so, I said, probably the first week, bro, I probably made about 1400 the first week. Damn. 1400 Drillers. Bro. Off 1800 That's bro, crazy. That's bro, crazy. Bro, doubling, bro. That's Just crazy. Doubling, bro. And, and ever since then, bro, uh, 
shit, just been, just been looking for other ways to make more money, bro. Yeah. It's like, yeah. let's be real. It's like, let's be real, bro. If we had it our way, bro, we'll wake up every day with millions, millions of dollars in our pocket, Facts. bro. Be for real. Facts, yeah. Facts. But, but since we don't got that luxury to have that, it's like you got to be proactive with it. You got to like find ways to, like like you said earlier, what works for me may not work for you. Facts. Facts. Like you you a great ass artist. You you a Facts. great ass rapper. Thank you. Bro. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Your lane is is, is being an artist. Yeah. I should I shouldn't expect to see my boy Zach. Uh, <laughs> I should I shouldn't see you on the street selling dope or like. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. Facts. Like, Facts. Fact, fact. Like your lane is your lane. Yeah. 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 You know what I'm saying? So, to get back on topic, man, I can't say. It. My last thousand, bro. My last thousand. I flipped that. Been balling ever since. I ain't lying. To you, bro. <laughs> so how many? So how many vending machines do you currently have? Just got five now. Five. five. Just five. five. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Just five. Nah, just, just a little. Emotion. We're searching for six. <laughs> Real life. I'm trying to, man. But the hardest thing. I'm, I'm gonna put y'all on game, bro. The hardest thing about vending machines people don't tell you about is finding a location for it, bro. Okay. Like, it's easy to go buy one, but it's like where you gonna put it? Where you gonna put it? So my advice is, bro. Find a, find a location first, secure that location, oh. get your LLC to protect whatever happens to your vending machine. Get that, man, sky's the limit. Wait, so so I can go get a location without having my vending machine yet? 100%. That's exactly what I did, 100%. Okay, I didn't know that. I thought you had to physically come with the back of the truck and be like, yo, I want to put this right here. Man. See, it was crazy, <laughs> yeah, I bro. I'll, <laughs> I'll be right just back. Just for a little bit, just for a little bit. <laughs> but see, that's what people mess up at, though, bro. Like... And see, me, I just went online, bro, went, went place to place, bro. And people didn't realize Hobby Airport and Bush Airport, you know how much traffic goes yeah. on through those places, bro? All day. That's a lot of All day, bro. Like, bro, like every two days, I got to refill up. Every two days, bro. Damn. Like, tomorrow morning, I'm going to go back up there to Bush to go refill up, bro. That's how crazy it is, but Killin'. I like it. Killing. I love it, bro. Killing. So, man, so tell me about the brand, man. What's up with the his and hers brand? Oh, yeah. Give me, give me the behind. What? That's what is baby. his and hers, man? What 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 exactly is that for the people that don't know? Man, his and hers is a, is a brand, it's a lifestyle brand. Bro. Okay, it's a, okay. It's about an honest, not fake Instagram, fake Hollywood, like an actual lifestyle where we live in. So uh-huh. the brand is about giving out game, putting people on, bro. Okay, just, just living a, a a factual, non-fabricated life, bro. Okay, you know okay. I mean? So okay, if, anybody that's associated with the brand, I mean, like I say, like my networking events, uh-huh. it's meant for everybody to eat, bro. I don't charge for nobody to come in. Only time I'm charging is for grand opening because obviously we got to make our money. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. You got to pay the artists. You yeah. got to pay the hosts. You got to pay everybody. Yeah. So. But other than that, it's just having a good time, bro, living life. Yeah, facts. That's what it's all about. It's That's better. what it's all about. So when, what, when did that brand, like what made you spark that idea to start up the His and Hers brand? To be real with you, bro. Yeah. I'm going to be st- straightforward with you, bro. Let's be real. Going to these clubs is what made me do it. Bro. <laughs> Let's be real, bro. Like, bro, I'm talking about parking's down to be twenty to thirty dollars. Yeah. Come on, bro. So like, so every event I go to, bro, it's like I'm always coming out of pocket, which I don't mind. I really don't. Yeah. It's the fact that, like, damn, I gotta come out of pocket hundreds of dollars just to have a good time to, to put yeah. a smile on my face. Yeah. So it's like, why can't I just get that for my people? Give them a good time. Give them something to to enjoy themselves with. For free, like come on, Facts. bro. Be for yeah, real, Facts. like I ain't gonna lie, bro. I love this story. Vending Facts. machines, the club on it. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah, bro, we checking the brand. That's I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's bullshit. Yeah, hey, can I get a round of applause for that one? <laughs> <laughs> that's super much. I ain't gonna lie. That's funny, nah, that's bro. crazy. That's, that's a lot of emotion, bro. That's that's big, especially coming from where we come from, bro. A lot of people. A lot of people from where we all come from, bro. It's it's a it's a it's a bowl where it's hard to get out of. You know what I'm saying? Crabs so, in a bucket, bro. Crabs oh. in a bucket, bro. So like it's it's it's. It, it just makes me happy when I see people, you know, make it out of there. Because a lot of people don't make it out of there alive. You know what I'm saying? Let alone still breathing and still stuck in their same ways, not even knowing. And and you really can't blame them, bro, because they don't know. Like, if you even if you drive 30 minutes down 45, you in a whole nother world. You know what I'm saying? Life changing, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? It, we, we 40 minutes away from where we come from, and... It's a totally different view of life. You know what I'm saying? But Big a lot of people, <laughs> whole different, it's, a, it's a whole different vision of life. And the people that we, we come from, they they not they're not um um introduced to that, which is yeah. which is it's upsetting. It's upsetting. Like it's it's really upsetting, bro. And it it I'm glad that our generation is starting to be the ones that become young entrepreneurs. You know what I'm saying? So our kids won't fall into the system. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause cause honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Me, I can speak for me. I was born into that. You know what I'm saying? Because oh. my, cause my parents wasn't, didn't want to make a better life or, you know what I'm saying? So I wouldn't want my child to be implanted in that and it ain't had nothing to do with him. This ain't his fault. You know what I'm oh. saying? He was born here. He didn't ask to be here. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So 
I'm, 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 I just want to give you your flowers, and I'm, I'm proud of you. You know what I'm saying Likewise, for, brother. for making it out, man. Making something of yourself. You know what I'm saying. Making something good, so in a positive note. Not out here swiping and scamming, on, and, 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 you know what I'm saying. You're doing something positive, legal. You know what I'm saying. Most importantly, and you know what I'm saying. I just want to give you your flowers and tell you I'm proud of you. That means a lot, though. Bro. And with me saying I'm proud of you, you know what I'm saying? Give me the tea on the nightclub, man. You know what I'm saying? What, what you, you know, you know, we had to get, you know, we're going to get into it now. I don't act like I wouldn't be on the So, the so, yeah, so when, so, okay, we go from vending machines to nightclub. Okay, so, you, where, where were you at the day that you figured out, like, I'm going to just open up a nightclub? Like, what? So, Miss or right, Miss Loretta, which is the owner. Shout out to Miss Loretta. Yeah, Shout man. out to Miss Loretta. Put me on my feet for real, bro. Shout out to Miss Loretta. Loretta. She came on my networking events, bro. Okay. I never met her yeah. not one time, bro. Okay. Like, and then Miss Loretta, she's like what, 65, 67? Like, she's oh, know, she OG. She older, oh, yeah. you know. She what I mean? OG. And so after the event, she stopped. She was like, "Son, uh, what, what are you trying to do with this?" At the time, I didn't know. I'm like, "Well, I just want to do networking events, have everybody share, share their game, you know." Yeah. <clears throat> I said, well, to be honest, ma'am, I don't have a, a plan. She was like, mm. she's like, let me stop you right there. I said, what do you mean? She was like, do you want to expand? I said, of course. Man, she, she said, meet me at, uh, we, we met at the, at, at the gallery, uh, at the food court. Okay. Next following day. Next following day, we met in downtown, and she gave me the, the business. Then she was like, if you can give me 17000 up front right now, like, as we speak. She kind of put me on the spot, though. She's like, put me, if you can give yeah. me 17000 up front on the spot right now, I can guarantee you will quadruple that within the first month. I said, oh shit, oh, sign me up. I said, I said, yeah. I said okay. I said, I said, you want to check? Yeah. <laughs> what, what you want? Man, and she made that shit real, bro. And 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 she blessed me, bro. I'm going to tell you this. And yeah. I, I, only, I ain't even tell my people this, bro. Yeah, yeah. Man, 17 bands I gave her, bro, she gave that bitch right back to me. That, that, like, what, two weeks later, bro. She, she was like, most people wouldn't have made that financial leap. Mm. She's, like, she, she's like, the fact that you did this. She just wanted to see if you would do it. Man, she gave it back to me, bro. Back to me. Like, damn. Man, on yeah, my grandmother's grave, she gave it right back to me, bro. Man, that's she wants you to put your money where your mouth. Come on, bro. Yep. And, and she she, she kind of she tried to pull my my bluff a little bit yeah. my car yeah. like. But that's good like though, because a lot of people just speak on it. They talk about it, but, but they, they, they don't really want to. They don't want to do that, bro. Come you, on, bro. Come on now, you don't want to start no like, bro. So yeah, but like when she brought it up to me at first, I was like, okay, I don't even know this lady because she don't even live in Houston. She lives in Lubbock, bro. Oh uh, yeah, I never trust mm. her. But shout out Miss Loretta, man. <laughs> shout out Miss Loretta. Shout out Miss Loretta. Shout out Miss Loretta, man. Shout out Miss Loretta, man. Shout out Miss Loretta, man. Young uh, old goat, you know what I'm saying? Shout out Miss Loretta. So, so talk about the event on the 30th, man. So what what can we expect? Tell the people, man, pull up. Oh, yeah. oh, tell them to listen. pull up. Come come pop out, have a good time. Oh man, you you tell them, man. Don't tell crazy, them. Crazy, bro. Free right. parking. Okay. About free sections. The only thing you're paying for is your bottle if you come in with the bottle. And how much is that? Ten bucks. Ten bucks. That's it. Okay. Yeah. Ten, Ten bucks. bucks. Cause like I said, I don't want like I don't want people to come inside an event paying damn near eighty bucks, eighty bucks before they even step foot inside. Oh yeah, I didn't did that a minute. Come on, but it, it makes no times. sense. Many bottles, times. bottles be damn near two fifty. We see, let's be real. That's some we, cheap. That's some cheap. Like us, we can we can afford it, bro. Yeah. Cause like we work hard for this. You know? Yeah, yeah. But for the average person who want to go to a club and just enjoy themselves, I don't yeah. know who wants to spend. Because okay. I, I think I think when last time I went to the club, this was a while ago. I don't I don't club no more, but. Last time I went to the club, bro, I think a bottle of Don Julio was like a band. Like oh, twelve hundred easily, easily at camp, bro. At camp, Don Julio go for I think fourteen or thirty. That's crazy, bro. That's crazy. I, 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 that's motion. That's. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> real talk. Bro, let's talk about it. That's split. <laughs> but that's ten x in your bread. Yeah, man. that's crazy <laughs> no, though, bro. That's twelve foot. But hey, if you can do it, hey, like, yeah, hey, right. hey, teach his, teach his own. own. <laughs> yeah. Got to get that money, and then I remember going to the club, bro. I was underage, so you know them, but them, them bouncers. You you eight, you eighteen. They want forty. Pay that more. extra. They got pay so you extra. paying forty five, fifty dollars to get in. It's eleven thirty, so you gotta you gotta make your fifty dollars count for an hour and a half, <laughs> two hours. So yeah, that's good, bro. I'm glad you. I'm glad you 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 bringing that type of style to Houston. We really need that. You know what I'm saying to know that it ain't all about the money. It ain't all about the money. You know it's what I'm not, saying? Bro. Even though even though we, we need money to live, bro. Facts. Mm. At the end of facts. the day, I'm a, I go off of experience and vibe, facts. bro. Facts. I love vibe. That's me. It's not facts. So. It's that I like to think of it as like flow state, bro. 
to where like you in the right moment of time and mm. everything really just going your way. You ain't going against the grain. Like even public. how you met uh, Miss Loretta, mm -hmm. all that. It was a time and a place Natural, kind of thing, bro. bro. Like Natural. you ain't forced nothing. It just yeah. happened at all, bro. I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's really why we started this, bro. It just came to us, bro, and we was just like, let's do it right here, right Thanks. now. And it's I'm one of them things. Boy. No, no, I ain't gonna lie. Thanks. I what y'all thought. Thanks. Now look, y'all ask me questions. Let me ask y'all this. Cause I, I do podcasts too sometimes. Okay, sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> but my thing is like, what made y'all start it up? What made y'all like like what was that the, like that final moment? Like you know what? Hey, let's do it. You know what I mean? Like what what was that light bulb? Like? I ain't gonna yeah. lie, bro. We be brainstorming. Yeah. And and yeah. like, bro, it's crazy, bro. We yeah. be talking about ideas. We didn't had it happen a couple times, bro. We'll come up with this idea, like, hey, bro, we really should do this. Boom, boom, boom. And we'll entertain it for like a day, bro. Get a whole get a little list, bit. see what it costs, <laughs> nigga. Then we wouldn't even follow through. And then we see it a month later. Somebody really somebody took a really whole took idea. Somebody really took a then blew up with it. <laughs> and it's like, and it's like and so. I'm it's like, like wow. That just go to show, bro. Wow. When you have an idea, you really need to act. Go with you your can't move, wait bro. for it. You can't be like, oh, yeah. maybe in a year my circumstances. Go with better. your move. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. like get get that motion. Go bro. with your Make move, the millions, bro. You know go with your saying? move. You know what I'm saying? Go and and believe it or not, bro. Believe it or not, you may say this is cap, but before this episode right here, I think we started. Building this shit in like a week and a half, bro. Yeah. Like two weeks. Week like it was just one of them things for podcast. Oh, bet we on the way to guitar center right now. No, a fake. week and a half. Bro. Yeah, I yeah. swear. When, like when we first reached out to you, when we first reached out, that was like I, a week and a half ago. I was with him. Yeah. Man, he yeah. say podcast. We had guitar center thirty minutes. Bro, we, we just start ordering. We started. Like, yeah, get ready for him. He going. said he gonna be ready, buddy. Yeah. We gonna be ready. When we <laughs> said for, that's why I kept. That's why I kept asking, like, you know, we good, we good, we good. Because yeah, yeah. when you say he was good, bet me we. Oh, oh, Mike, Mike, beat. You know what I'm saying? We 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 just went full of steam, man. And that's just you know what I'm saying. Like I say, go with your move, complete the mission. You know what I'm saying? Because you never know what can happen. You know what I'm oh. saying? You never know what can happen, even though we may think that. We know what's gonna happen. We don't really know. But you, I would much rather live a life of knowing that I tried and it didn't succeed than living a life I knowing did. that mm -hmm. I damn I, I should have did Thanks. that. Thanks. I heard I heard this saying like, you should never have a fear of losing because your biggest fear should be never trying. You never know if you could ever yeah, have been something. I like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, 100%. how you gonna fear trying to be what you want to be? Yeah. Like yeah. what? What type of fear is that? That's that's mm. no fear. That's really. corny. That's really yeah. corny. <laughs> corny. Like, like, come on, like, bro. Like, <laughs> well, <laughs> but then you get one of them. If you, if you thinking couch, like man. that, you get one of them, bro. That's like why you slit your mama. <laughs> you should never think like that. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you, too funny, bro. you should never, ever, 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 ever think like that, bro. Always go with your move. And honestly, bro, we live in an era where it's so easy because you really don't even need all this. You know what I'm saying? If you if you can't afford all this. You you don't need it cause we we got iPhones, we got phones, Come TikTok, on. Come on. Instagram. Like back when 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 the old heads was around and you had to be outside on the corner and yo listen to my mixtape, pop yeah. the trunk. And you had you, to find that. You don't gotta oh, pop right. the trunk no more. I could <laughs> get on TikTok and and and, and, and blow up off of you never know what you know. what I'm saying I didn't see people blow up man on the stupidest, on the stupidest things. things, too, things you know what I'm saying? Some small stuff. That's his first time posting the video. He got a million in retweets. Drake flew him to Canada. <laughs> Meek Mill put him in the. You know what I'm saying? Nah, like, big fan. You know what I'm saying? I didn't seen this, and you know, yeah. it, and, and it's sad that people use an excuse of not having it. You know what I'm saying? That's like the another thing I think is the problem, bro. People really be scared to put themselves out there. Facts. People be. Facts. People would rather just be that gray area of person. Talk, to talk like, about it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Nah, I don't want to. For real. I don't want to. Yeah, they hit a nerve right there. Hit a nerve, bro. And I, I don't mean to cut you off, bro, but, man, bro, it, cause it, 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 bro, catch me missing me off, bro, because, man, I seen this post on Instagram. No, I think it was Twitter. Yeah. It's like, it's people on Instagram and Twitter who are naked having sex, bro. Yeah, facts. If, if, if somebody don't mind being naked on social media in front of millions of people why can't you promote your brand why can't you why can't you in a turtleneck in a lot you know what i'm saying <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm not for the play with bro. Hey, why you can't get up there come in a turtleneck and a ski mask you know what i'm saying <laughs> come on, well, well, it should be no excuse you know what i'm saying I it should be excuse, no bro. excuse bro it's just me you're right it should be no excuse nah, and facts. it's that me versus me type facts. Of that's a real thing it's, it's really just you and your ways and once you get out of your ways but you gotta want to get out of your ways though you you mm -hmm. that's one of them things where you gotta want to and 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 oh, let me sit up. So like you know, what I'm saying it's it's good that we getting because so you gotta want to get out your ways, bro. Because you know you be around people where it don't matter how much you install in their head, do this, do that. If they don't want to do it, 
they not going to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like Excuses. It, it, yeah. the, it's just you around people that's just not going to do it. And it's one of the things where you got to be the person to lead by example. You know what I'm saying? You got to lead by example. You know what I'm saying? Be the Because... Uh, you might you'd be surprised how much you might inspire somebody by you just doing what you want to do. You Come know on. what I'm saying? Instead of harping in their ear like nigga, you sorry. Just you know what I'm saying? Go on, leave him alone. Let him let him go. Do what he do. But he might get inspired by seeing you actually go and do what you want to do. And that can nah, like damn, if he could do it. You know what I'm saying? If he could do it. My mama told me don't never give your advice to somebody that don't want advice. Because first of all. They gonna de they gonna devalue it. They gonna Come be like, on. this nigga ain't even telling me nothing. Now I really just could have gave you a million dollars worth of game, worth the game. and you it's just up. really stood in my face. The I ain't doing thing. nothing with that. Come on. So, bro, you should never give somebody advice that they ain't asking for it. Facts. Where we from? It's a lot of people that's like that. Bro. Facts. It's a lot that's, of but that's not even where we from, cause that's that's, that's just that's, everywhere, bro. In general, too. Yeah, you're right. That, that's right. everywhere. That's 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 everywhere. Life. At this Life. Point. That's <laughs> yeah. that's everywhere, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that. that I, I can harp on it all night, but you know what yeah. I'm saying? Just, you know what I'm saying? If you want to be somebody, go be somebody. That's, that's just, because life is really easy, bro. You know, hey, life man. is simple. We just make it hard. The present is a gift, man. We we, we make it hard, bro. It's easy. If you want something, go get it. You better. Like, you better. It, man. It, 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 if you want something, go get it. Even like, even if you're working on a five, you want to make some extra money, work an extra day. Man, I guarantee you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, you got people that want to, want to work 40 hours and mad that they don't make enough money oh hell no. go get you 50 55 you that's an extra one hundred two hundred dollars if you want to go get that whatever but you rather go time. work monday through friday 7 to 3 30 and mad that you ain't got no money and you want to go to the club <laughs> saturday sunday to spend the money that you, you, you worked all week for anyway <laughs> you all week. Anyway. another thing oh, look yeah. hold on real quick how many hours is in a week bro I was in a week. I, I say like four. I, let me guess. Twenty four. I'm gonna say four hundred and eighty. I'm gonna say one hundred and fifty something. One hundred and sixty eight. Wow. Uh, what was I only, talking about? You only work forty hours, bro. Four eighty is crazy. You need <laughs> all right. So, <laughs> what? I don't count. I was like that. <laughs> <laughs> four eighty is insane. Hey, it's all good, bro. Y'all ain't gotta be rich to count. <laughs> That's a fact. <laughs> That's a fact. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> 480 is insane. But nah, bro, I just did that, bro, to show you, bro, people be really thinking they busting ass by working 40 hours in one week. That's not enough. That is bare minimum. Minimum, no, no, exactly. Right? That is bare minimum. Like, and, and you really were talking about you want to change your life around, you want something out of life. You literally have enough time, even if you wanted to, to get a whole another job. And, and I work 80 hours a week. I'm glad he said that because people that work 40 hours a week want to become entrepreneurs and they work 100 hours a week because you don't have the luxury of clocking out. You don't clock out as an entrepreneur. Sun up to sun down. Sun up to sun down. You working. You you breaking your neck. Sun up to sun down. You got to, man. But they be tuned in. They know all the Netflix series. Yeah, they, if, I, if I text them right now, they be like, hey, man, I ain't on Netflix. You got some recommendations. See, that's C10. That's C10. They like, yeah, like, yeah. ending was crazy. Man. Plot twist. Hey, or, or they on the game all day. Just game like, all day, yeah. Yeah, man. Priorities messed up. My life is just, life is easy, man. People just, make it hard. Oh, look, they make it hard. Hey, look, so look, I feel like another way to be like the slave mentality, like government type stuff, Yeah. a lot of it is distraction. Because mm. if you distract it, you can't really make nothing out of life. You just you just fall in line. Mm -hmm. That's like distraction is really poison, bro. Yeah. You have to I like you that. have to keep a awareness to your attention, bro, and what you really focusing on because that's how you manifest, bro. Man, you can't manifest like shit if you just watching manifest. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that. I like you know that. Saying, nah, for sure. For sure, for sure. That's a good one. I you sent me a quote the other day, bro. What what was the quote? It was like um uh trees don't hang with the grass. Oh, so it's like the grass and the trees came from the same exact place. Yeah. But you don't never see the trees hanging out with the grass. That's mm. crazy. That's a crazy. I love that quote. That's the best quote I've might have been. Uh, think about that was some deep ass. That's one of them, bro. That's one of them. Think about it. That's, like, that's, that's one of them. I love that quote. He sent me that quote the other day. I was like, that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Also, my, my grandma used to tell me something when I was a kid, bro, that I kind of like implement on my life. She used to tell me that uh, sometimes running with no direction is just as bad as not running at all. So, you know what I'm saying? And go to say like... No, nah, I feel that. You know what I'm saying? That, that go to say like, slow down. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't rush. Don't rush it. You know what I'm saying? Let it come naturally. Don't it, it don't don't try to have 100 things going on at one time. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, bro. That was me. 
Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, when me for sure. when you, you got a hundred things going at one time, it's hard to, to maintain to anything. maintain anything. Man, bro, you have no quality. Yeah, it's Your just, quality level is low. Over, you, at, you all over the place. Like, come on, I don't even know who you are. Like, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know what what do you do? What are you stand for? Like, you know what I'm saying? What do you do? I don't even know what you do. You do this, you wash your cars. Yeah. Next time I see you, you frying chicken, you you flipping bar- <laughs> like you know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna lie, bro. That just goes to show, bro, oh, how you can never really be a slave to that dollar, man. Facts. Because that should have had you running circles, bro. You really gotta find what you good at. You know what I'm saying? Find your groove, get in your lane, and and just stay there. Expand yeah. with that, bro. You yeah, know what I'm like, really give yeah. yourself facts to the world, bro. As a valuable human being, like yeah, facts. Like my my boy Cross tell me all the time. He tell me like being rich is a mindset. You know what I'm saying? Being rich is a is a mental thing. It has, it's nothing physical about being rich. Nothing with a dollar. You, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I I done met a lot of homeless people. That's 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 happy. Spirit. You know what I'm saying? They they I spirit high. Yeah. So mentally they rich. You know what I'm saying? Even though they ain't got nowhere to go, they just mentally got a great mindset, and they go to show you that money really don't mean anything in the, in the long run. You know what I'm saying? Because hmm. a homeless person can be the happiest man in the world. You know what I'm saying? It's a it's a lot of people that don't make a lot of money that are very very happy. No, that is true. And I it's a, a lot, bro. Wake up with a smile. It's a lot of people that got a lot of money that are miserable. Big facts. You know so. You know what I'm saying? Go I ain't gonna lie, bro. Some of the happiest people I ever seen, bro, be the ones that work at the corner stores. The dudes who restock, bro. They be, they be the guys. They them be the guys. Time. They know everybody in the neighborhood. <laughs> they you get high when they, they want to. Fast. Chilling. <laughs> Chilling. <laughs> Post it on the ice machine. Go to the crib. I'm finna go put my daughter to sleep. Yeah, mm-hmm. redo it. Come and do it tomorrow. Bit, yeah. Come, yeah. come back tomorrow at three. They cool, man, bro. Yeah, for sure. So, man, so tell me, man, what what is a day in the life? Of of a young mogul like yourself, like run me through, you know what I'm saying? Run me through a day in the life of being a you know a young boss like yourself. Damn, you give it to me, man. So let's say what time? Start off. What time you wake up in the morning? Five. Woo! Five. And you ain't going to work. You just up. Yeah, yeah. You got yeah. Okay. So okay. Five. So when you get up in the morning, what you doing? Hopefully, brush your teeth. Brush your teeth. Yes, okay. You got to <laughs> moisturize that face. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but I say yeah. Wake up at five. Mm-hmm. Uh, workout. That's, like, that's every day. At least cardio or some type of workout. I got to work out every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, Monday through Fridays, like my Monday through Fridays are all, almost almost the same. I, I, I can say. Okay, so you got you got a schedule. Like you do the yeah, same yeah. thing every day. Because because every two days, like having multiple multiple vending machines, each day you got to restock something. Every okay. day has to be restocked on something. And it's crazy you say that because a lot of rich people say that their lives are put on the schedule. You know what I'm saying? Like they do the same thing every single day to know. So they know what they doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I see a lot of rich people say they wear the same, they wear the same clothes. Like I seen this one dude, I forgot his name, but he said he don't wear designer because he got a million white shirts and black shirts, or he wear his own brand Which is because smart. he don't like wasting time or 30 minutes to be like, when I'm a weather day. That's 30 minutes that he could be doing something so totally active. different, you know what I'm saying? So that's crazy you say that. That's the, that's like one of the formulas to being like somebody successful from having your your life on like a set schedule, like. You work out the same time every day. You gonna eat at the same time every day. You gonna do your business every time. This, this Come on. you know what I'm saying? But and I'm glad you said that's that's good. That's a good point. Yeah. But I say this though, the reason why I like my schedule because football. We play football. Yeah, yeah, football yeah. For a long time. Yeah. We used to structure. We used to uh, every day. Like you know, you got Facts. film. Facts. Study hall. Facts. It's, Facts. Every day is the same. Every day the same thing. Come yeah. on, bro. So it's like I just incorporated that into my everyday life. Yeah. You know that's what I mean? so. Football, yeah. football can say help me out though. So it's like my mental, facts, bro, my facts, mental toughness for sure. Sports, period, bro. Sports is everybody should play at least one sport in their life. You know what I'm saying? Rather you are good at it or not, it, it show you, it show you stuff outside of the sport that's good for life. Character. You know what I'm saying? Character, teamwork, yeah, teamwork yeah. like discipline, bro. Fighting. I feel like like just fighting through pain. Yes, like that's adversity. Like that's, adversity. It, it, somebody should play a, at least one sport in their life. You know what I'm saying? Even if you're good or not, just to see how it is, like, mm-hmm. just to see how it, because it's gonna it's gonna build you into a nice a nice human being in the end for sure. Character building for sure, life, for bro. sure, for sure. Because it helped me a lot. I ain't gonna lie, it helped me a lot. I'm a little lazy now. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a lazy. <laughs> but what time, what time we got, bro? Uh, thirty two. Thirty two. All right, we keep rolling. We we a little lazy, but I mean, hey. It is what it is. It is what it is. So, man, so tell me, like, what's the key to becoming a successful content creator? Like, what's the. Ooh. Give me. I know. Well, I'm going to. You know, I'm going to. 
We try to get some. I'm money. giving them like. I, I, I'm I gonna can't. say this, bro. I'm gonna say this because like my girl out there, bro. We, like I said, we do TikTok. And okay. One thing I can say is consistency. And, and, and like I said, this is like your first podcast. You gonna yeah. see, bro. Like your first video, I'm pretty sure it's gonna blow up because we talking about some cold stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like when people see that, they are gonna be like, dang, okay. They had one fire video. Well, can they do it again? Yeah. yeah. Will I subscribe? Can can, yeah. they, can they do it again? Or how consistent would they be? Okay. Yeah. They posted this Friday, but they went four months without posting. Yeah. You facts, know what I mean? So facts, it's just facts, 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 facts. And with podcasts, I, I noticed all the good ones, like like this one, is consistency. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Facts. You consistent, bro. You you could talk about eggs and, and eggplants. And like, <laughs> as long as you talking about talking about something nah, smart, facts. they go tune in. Bro. For sure. For yeah. sure. For yeah, I know, sure. I know that podcast undisputed. I know. Yeah. Yeah. Know yeah, 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 yeah. 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 He ended up leaving, but if you notice, they was consistent every every week. Every, almost, week, like, every week. Yeah. Yeah. For sure, consistency is probably the num- number one thing, bro. So do you enjoy it? Do you enjoy being a content oh, creator? I love it, bro. It's like football. Like the same joy that we got playing football, bro. The same joy I have doing content, bro. I, I wake up. up thinking about doing it, bro. That's yeah. what's up. I love it. I That's what's up. It puts a smile on my face for sure. Yeah, for sure. I really just want to start helping people more in a genuine way too. Mm. Like just giving people more of a positive outlook, bro. And That's love. Just spreading love to a given game. We need that in this world now. Nah, facts. All this hate going on, facts. bro. People, but we, we we need something positive. And we the right age to do it because we young. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no old heads. Yeah. I ain't do 10 years in prison. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, facts. We, we just like y'all. You know what I'm saying? We exactly like whoever watching, we just like y'all, bro. We the same exact people, mm. just mentally we're a little different. But we going to get y'all there. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Y'all stick around. I promise you, y'all stick around for the journey. We going to get y'all where y'all need to be. Yes, that's... You know what I'm saying? We're going to get y'all where y'all need to be. Get y'all the millions. Get y'all the motion, most importantly. And we're going to rock out. We're going we gonna to rock out. That's just, that's just what it's going to be. But you know what I'm saying? Without further ado, man, it's your boy, Demon, your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. <laughs> Checking out. This is the first episode of Motion Makes Millions. Just Thank great. y'all for coming. Thank y'all for coming. We love y'all and hope y'all come back. Thanks. Appreciate you know it, bro. Appreciate, appreciate you coming you, out, dog. Appreciate That's you coming, love, man. Bro. Appreciate you coming. Too, I'm proud of you, man. Let's, you know what I'm saying? Hey. Appreciate hey, now nah, we gonna have you back too. Man, yeah. for sure, we're man. You, man. You, uh, you hell yeah, especially when y'all blow up <laughs> shit. Y'all be fucked up on the bass motherfucker, but I'll come back. <laughs> yeah, I remember y'all motherfuckers day one. Uh, but nah, but nah yeah, for sure. Bro. For sure. And make sure if you love your mom, if you love life, bro, make sure you like, comment, subscribe on Facts. the video. Bro. And go follow my boy, His and Hers yeah. podcast. His oh, yeah, and Hers the brand. You got to drop drop the IG. Yeah, go on, drop yeah, the IG. Go on, go on. Instagram, Hollywood.neef. That's on Instagram, TikTok. Follow our promotion page and our influence pages. His and Hers, HTX. His and Hers, with the S behind that R. His and Hers, HTX on Instagram and TikTok. Yes, sir. Bet. All right, that's Motions Make Me. Yes, sir. Our first yes, episode, sir. we yes, out. Sir. Give us yes, a round of applause, man. Be tapping something. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. And we put this together yes, for y'all. I hope y'all appreciate it, man. Thank Facts. y'all. Facts. 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 Oh, that was hard, bro. <laughs> Boy, it did that shit. Boy, if y'all boys stay consistent with this shit, it's over with.